You guys have been asking me for quite a while now to make a tutorial about how I perform my famous through balls. And that is exactly what you will be learning in the next couple of minutes. Of course, boys, you're more than welcome to leave a like if you cannot wait to see how this pass is being performed at its maximum, maximum efficiency. There are three important parts to the OV pass. First of all, triggering the striker run. This is maybe the most important. As you are seeing in this example here, the ball is traveling to my first player, to my first striker. In the moment, boys, that the ball is traveling towards my first striker, I am manually triggering the run of the second striker. How do I do that? I press one time LB on Xbox One controller or L1 on the PlayStation or controller and while I press this button super fast I also move the left analog in the direction of the striker that I want to make the run with. This will guarantee me that I will trigger the run of that particular player in attack. Next we've got the angle and this is very very important. A lot of you have been doing mistakes when trying to perform this pass because the angle of the player that gives the pass is not good enough. This will result in a failure of the pass. The pass will be easily intercepted by the defender. Normally the perfect angle here can be determined by the position of your striker. If your striker is running in a straight line, then the angle of the passer should be uh, in a diagonal direction away from the striker, as you are seeing in this example. Of course, this may vary. This is why I advise you to go through the video and check also the other examples and see in each situation how I position my player before doing the pass. Very important thing here. We don't have the body feint anymore in FIFA 21. It's not as effective. It was great to use it before to set up this angle. You are left at this moment, unfortunately, with only two skill moves that work, in my opinion. You've got the scoop and the fake shot. The scoop is the best. Otherwise, other skill moves may influence the run of your striker due to the creative runs. For example, I do love doing a ball roll to set up the perfect angle but i can't do a ball roll because the creative runs will be triggered which is such a bad thing that you can't turn them off in fifa 21. the only two skill moves that do not affect the direction of your striker do not trigger the creative runs are the fake shot and the scoop that's what i have been using and that's what has been effective for me next we've got the timing and the power of the shot the timing when you start to power the shot is exactly this one right here you are seeing it on the screen when your striker is let's say one two meters away from the defender that's when you start loading the power of the pass the power of the pass should go as high as possible because usually these passes are used only for mostly actually for counter attacks so you want to give your player the um, opportunity to run towards something. There is a lot of space behind the defenders and you got to load the power button at the pass as high as possible. But also remember, if the defender line is not as high as in this example and you are closer also to the striker, lower the intensity of the pass. Once you practice more, you will get the hang of it. And that's it boys, these tips and tricks together with your practice in Ultimate Team in Foot Champions in Division Rivals will result in you mastering this extremely effective way of scoring goals in FIFA 21. If you've enjoyed the video boys, don't forget to drop a like if you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Ovi and I'll see you boys in the next video. Bye bye.